Spiral is certainly a strange beast. It features a very striking, sometimes gorgeous, visual style. It's got competent voice acting and an intriguing narrative. The gameplay not only offers variety, but incorporates touch controls relatively well. Saying all of this, the game plays havoc on your battery, and some of the aspects of the experience aren't as well implemented as they could have been. You play as Tempus, a young amnesiac who shares a body with a robotic arm called Ava. On contract to the military, you come across a conspiracy involving the echelons of power that is somehow linked to the deadly spiral virus that is decimating the population. The game leads you by the arm through this mystery, breaking up plotting with combat, one-touch platforming, and forced stealth sections. Tapping and holding will create a reticle that will guide Tempest through the world. Likewise, combat is handled with a combination of taps and swipes. Tempest's arm changes to three distinct weapons, depending whether an enemy is at close, medium or long range. A single tap will execute a single attack with your gun, staff or blades. Holding your finger down on an enemy will charge up a strong attack, which will usually hit more than one foe if they're clumped together. Blocks are handled automatically. The combat is fairly fluid but does suffer on the iPhone screen, with taps sometimes being misread and camera controls proving a tad finicky. Defeating foes and completing objectives will award you with experience points, which you can use to level up your attributes. The game automatically spends points by default, but you can change to a manual level up system. With all that Spiral does right, it's certainly not for everyone. The visuals are downright breathtaking in some sequences, but some may find the cartoonish representation of the characters in the world off-putting. You might also dislike the very linear nature of the gameplay. In its defense, however, there is a real flow to the progression, one which should keep you glued to your screen. Or at least you could, if the game wasn't such a resource hog. In a little under one hour of play, the game had sapped our iPhone battery from near full to 20%, worrying to say the least. And then there's the price. This is episode one, and it's nearly $6. If the upcoming episodes cost the same amount, the high entry level may render it a bit of a niche title. Still, it's obvious the developers have put a lot of passion and effort into this project, and it would be great to see such a title find its audience. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.